Uh, I'm joined by uh, Councilor Majuk, uh, Councilor Green, Councilor White. Um, so let's see, the first, here's like the first four items are all engineering. There are amendments to uh, consult, consultant agreements. Uh, Mary Robinson, I don't know if you want to walk us through those four and, you know. Sure. How are you guys doing? Um, the first one is amending an agreement with LaBella Associates to add construction inspection services for the West Colvin Street Bridge over Onondaga Creek. Um, the cost for construction inspection is $78,000, which bring up, excuse me, it's $78,000 for construction inspection and then an additional 8,800 for um, design services. Um, so it'll be a total not to exceed fee of 200,400. The additional design services were um, for the change in the public information from being in person to online and some additional pedestrian crossings that DOT is requiring us to uh, redesign. This is a TIP project with Bridge New York, so the funding is 95% reimbursable. Uh, any questions on that for my colleagues? No? All right, I'm gonna make a motion to move that on the agenda. All in favor? Aye. Okay. okay. I, all right. Uh, next item. The next one is in regards to the north, south, east, west interconnect traffic signal project. Um, we're also amending the agreement for construction inspection services to Bergman Associates for an additional $1,003,567. For a total not to exceed fee of two million one hundred ninety three thousand sixty seven dollars. Also a tip project this phase um, construction phase does not have construction. Uh, excuse me, does not have Marchiselli money funding yet. Hopeful fingers crossed that we get it. We did get it for the design phase. So right now this phase is 80% federally reimbursable. Mary, what would that change to if we were to get the additional funding? We would get an additional 15%, so we'd only have a 5% local match. Understood. Got it. Thank you. Sometimes we get it like after the fact, and we'll come back. If we do get it, we'll come back to you with the additional uh, legislation or the additional reimbursement and legislation associated with it. Mary, I see that in a couple of your items here that you know inspection is 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 usually different. It's not it's not part of the original amount. Is that done intentionally? And and does that inspection usually given to a different uh, organization than the organization doing the work? On all the tip projects, we come to you phase by phase. So we typically come to you. Um, twice for design, preliminary design, and then final design. And then we come to you with construction inspection. Um, when we do the RFP, we include all the phases, but if we decide midway through the project that we wanna go with a different firm for construction inspection, we do have the right to re-RFP it and do it. We don't typically do that. Um, so this, this is the normal tip process to come for each phase. So usually, so if I'm understanding you correctly, so usually the, the same firm that is doing the design and maybe construction is could also be used as the same firm to do the inspection. Yes. Okay. And typically we we keep the same firm. Only if there's a problem would we switch firms. Okay, if there aren't any more questions, I'm going to make a motion to move this on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. All right. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. Uh, next item. The next one is amending an agreement with Fisher Associates for the construction inspection for Solar Street Mellon Pave. Um, this is the construction services. Uh, 
for construction inspections for $180,000, which brings their total fee not to exceed $385,000. This is a TIP project with 100% funding if we stay within budget. So let's hope the bids come in good. So you and Mary, when we get reimbursement, how long do they take for those reimbursement to come back? Um, I'd have to check with uh, financial operations on the time frame. I believe it comes within a month or so. I, I can verify that. Hi, Mary. It's Maria. Yeah, Hi, Maria. it takes about a month. Okay. Any other questions on this item? All right, make a motion to put it on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. All, right. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, last item for you, I think. Uh, last one is amending an agreement with Barton and LaJudas for the West Gen C Street Mill and Pave. This is to add the detailed design phase for the project. Um, for a fee of $350,000, which increases their total fee not to exceed $622,000. Um, also a TIP project, and this is getting 80% federal and 15% Marchicelli. Any questions on that from my colleagues? Nope. All right, make a motion to put it on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Looks like the next starts up with uh, the rest of DPW items. It looks like we're purchasing a packer from the school district. Is there someone that can speak to that item? Uh, yeah, this is Rich Devesti, the fleet director. It's a packer they're, they're no longer using. Um, it's actually newer than five packers that we have currently on the road every day. So instead of them just auctioning it off, I wanted to use it in our fleet to back us up until the new packers arrive, probably October of this year. It's just an, it's a nice piece of equipment to have. Uh, Rich, how, how long do we think that the, you know, lifetime of this one is, I mean, you said it's, in better shape than some of the ones that we have out there. How long yeah. do we expect this one to last? I mean, oh, it'll 3,000 okay. seems. Yep. Yeah, we'll get a couple. We'll get probably two years out of it, and we'll get at least that much back at auction anyway. Even the ones that are aren't running get get two or three thousand dollars. So we won't lose on this one. This is this is a good machine, and we need it because we're still running two thousand fives and sixes that we have to repair almost weekly. So having yeah, another nine will help. What do they use on the cost new, uh, Rich? You know, uh, about one hundred and seventy thousand new. Oh, wow, one sixty five is what we're getting the, the ones we just ordered for. But between between one sixty and one seventy, depending on how they're equipped. Right. Any other questions on this one? No. Okay. Um, make a motion to put it on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item uh, looks like we're accepting the pedestrian signals for Moravido development over on Brighton and Thurber. I'll take this one as well, Councillor. Um, Related to the Barabito being installed at Brighton and Thurber, um, the pedestrian access is not sufficient and this development will certainly increase pedestrian access. So we're um, asking uh, Marabito to add a pedestrian crossing going across Thurber and going across Brighton and adding the pedestrian signals um, associated with that. Um, and then upon completion and acceptance, we would take over ownership and maintenance. So this is the installation of this equipment is at no cost to the city. So is this, is this the company that has, uh, that is putting in the gas station, Mary? Yes. Or, okay, so. Yes, is a gas station and convenience store. 
Okay. Yep, and the next item is uh, we need a, a, to accept a, a permanent easement for them because part of the sidewalk and pedestrian um, crossing is outside of our right of way. So the, the, ne the next item is related to this one. All right, any questions uh, on this one? Any more questions? Nope. Okay, um, make a motion, put it on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Um, and I don't know, you just spoke about the uh, the easement for the sidewalk. I don't, does anyone have any question, additional questions on the sidewalk that's going along with this project? No. All right, I'll make a motion to put that on the agenda as well. Can I get a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, looks like there's uh, another item accepting the traffic and pedestrian signals for JMA project. Yes, I'll take that one as well. Um, as a result of the JMA closing Cortland Ave, um, we need to they need to make some traffic signal improvements and that entails removing the existing crossing or excuse me, the existing signal at Cortland and Salina and installing a new traffic signal at Tallman and Salina. So um, the developer will have to do all these traffic signal and pedestrian signal improvements um, at no cost to the city. And upon completion, um, we would take ownership and maintenance of the traffic and pedestrian signal improvements. Um, we've also included in here that they are to install temporary signals um, because the lead time on these permanent traffic signals um, is pretty extensive. So that um, provision is also in the ordinance. And I, I guess I forgot to mention on the last one and this one, we've included a performance and maintenance bond for one year. The maintenance bond will be one year after acceptance. So just in case there's an issue with the contractor pulling off the job that we have a bond to protect us. Mary, refresh my memory a little bit here. That 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 part of Cortland that is uh, closed now is it is that is, was that part of the agreement with JMA to permanently close it or? Yes, there was an abandonment approved. Okay. Any other questions on this item? No? Okay. Make a motion. To put it on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Looks like the last item we're applying for grant through the water department. I don't know if uh, Mr. Awald down wants to speak about it. Hello. So yes, this is uh, a grant that we were awarded uh, basically from Senator Mayor's office about a year ago. We weren't sure if the money was going to come through, but it looks like the uh, the money is allocated, so we just need to enter into agreement with New York State to receive the funds of a half a million dollars to put towards the construction of our Brighton Avenue pump station. Any questions? So is that I guess I guess we will have to come up with a half of it, right? Because it, it say there at the bottom a million dollars, right? If the state is giving us half of that, we cover the yes. half. Okay. Yep, we've, we've already budgeted for it. It's in our capital projects um, plan. So we're all set there for funding of the complete project. This will just help us get some money back. It's good to have something come back. That's right. Something's better than nothing. That's right. Any other questions? If there are any other questions, I'll, I'll make a motion to put it on the agenda. Can I get a second? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And I think those are all the items, unless there's anything further. Corey, you got anything for us? No? Okay. Nothing. Thank you, Counselor. Right. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye. Right.